Mass, or at mm -hmm. least was until recently, mm -hmm. where other than one very elite school mm -hmm. called Normal Supérieure, if you were not, you know, if you were in the elite, mm -hmm. you went into engineering and yeah. physics and yeah. the other sciences, and if you weren't, then you were sort of off in universities doing more humanities, humanities types and of stuff. Yeah. Can we shift gears back to celebrity? You okay. have dealt with a lot of celebrities, and in my own work, celebrity is often one of the worst drivers of unethical behavior. <laughs> sometimes the celebrities behave badly, but sometimes the people who really go off the rails ethically uh -huh. um, or don't think about it at all are people seeking celebrity. And increasingly, celebrity just for the sake of being famous, which one can do now in the social media world, as opposed to celebrity for curing cancer or for being a great artist uh -huh. or for some being a great political leader. Uh -huh. What has been your experience with celebrity, and how do you think celebrity relates to ethics? Well, I mean, it all, again, it all goes back to the individual mm -hmm. and um, what your, your motive is, what exactly you want to you wanna do with your status as a celebrity at the end of the day. And um, I've had to deal with a lot of people, you know, in this industry, and you, I mean, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's really bad. You know, and um, can you give an example of when it's really bad? <laughs> like, I mean, people don't 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 just give a, you know, who you are or what what you're about. They just want you to do one thing, and that's it. Or you get a set and so you serve a purpose for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No and respect. No respect. You know, and you just it's like, oh, just come do this, and you know, and I'm trying to engage you and tell you what I do, and you're like, oh, I don't want to hear about that. Just do your job and get the hell out of here. I don't want to see your face, so that kind of thing. And sometimes they're like, oh. Why are they so all that? You know, because I, I just think sometimes just take my stuff and leave. Or oh, there was this set I was on. I was on set. I, I had the, the gig put me on the, they were calling me like a makeup artist. And I'm like, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm like, oh, sorry, there's nothing we can do about that. This is all we have for you. We don't have a title for you because you don't. I'm like, yeah, I don't fit your box. It's not my problem. Right. You create it. I don't care. And they, I mean, got into a like, oh, and they had to call somebody else, and they call somebody else, and it's, yeah. So you're you're using this gesture that is almost like indicating, you know, working one's way up a hierarchy. Yeah. And is it your sense that somebody felt that they could treat you this way and yeah. put you in some random box that does not yeah, correspond that does not at correspond all? Correspond Again, coming back to your yeah. truth and your yeah. identity. Yeah. Yeah. But they wouldn't do that if they had a perception that you were higher up in the hierarchy. Yeah. I mean, it, some people know, mm -hmm. some people don't care. I mean, when when I walked with Beyonce, she's I mean, she was super, super dope. Mm -hmm. In the sense that the respect she had, she said, like, she kept on saying thank you all throughout. Mm -hmm. Like, first time I was there, oh, so, someone said, thank you so much for coming. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, who should be thanking who? Like, <laughs> <laughs> right. you know? Mm -hmm. But she was super cool, and there was no, oh, you have to do this. Literally, she brought me in, and she wanted me to see what she wanted to do, and say, what can you do? Mm -hmm. We want you to do what you do. Like, you know, do you, don't, like, it was, yeah, contribute, it. become part of it, which I felt like I was part of something huge yeah. and something big. And I, well, you were, it was yeah. quite, it's quite an impressive result. Yeah, I mean, it was, you can see, I mean, the result tells, I mean, it shows, speaks for itself. So I like to work in such, you know, places where people are, you know, and it's funny that some people who are not even up high the ladder are the ones that have so much ego, you know, like over exaggerated sense of self, who mm -hmm. just think that, oh, they're all that. I've done a lot in my life, but I don't see myself as, I would never ever look down on another person's talent or try to just shove it under the carpet and say, oh, you're nothing just because maybe you don't have so much, maybe um, people talking about you today. It, it, all, it all changes. It's all about matter of time for artists, you know? And it's people, about artists, yeah, and it's also yeah. about just fundamentals of humanity. Yeah, We're basically, treat people nicely. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take anything, just be nice. That's something that you can, no matter how talented you are, no matter how beautiful you look, mm -hmm. the character, Treating people with respect is often the times it's almost everything. Without that, you can have all the rest of it. But when you don't have that, you know, good bill, you don't have the character, you don't treat people nicely, you know, it's, it's trash to me. Can we look at that shoe you're hiding right. behind you on right. a completely different note? Yeah. Because this continues a little bit the celebrity conversation. Who, yeah. sh who did you do this shoe? Yeah, for? this is for um, Mr. Jackson. He's also known as um, Fabulous. And uh, yeah, you can tell by the keyboard things yeah going the on keyboard here. the music right here and then you can see jackson's written backwards on the nike swoosh and then the spiders and masks of his african's african mm -hmm. descent african-american you know, is also um, of dominican um descent mm -hmm. and then that's his son oh. johan 
So you're telling his story? Yeah, I'm telling the story on the show. And then he's very Brooklyn still because he grew up here. So you can see that's a Brooklyn, there's a Brooklyn bridge, and that's the city skyline right there. Fantastic. And then, yeah, and then this is the albums he's ever done. 